What's going on, guys? It's Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers. A few topics to discuss today. We have some flooding potential as well as some storm potential. And then tonight, possible aurora slash northern lights potential. So let's go ahead and dive in. Before we dive in, though, I want to give a quick shout out here to our own Patreon page. If you want more out of us as Michigan Storm Chasers, we do offer detailed, exclusive daily forecasts as well as live chat options. You can talk to us directly if need to. We also offer winter predictions, other maps, other breakdowns as needed. So feel free to check it out. It is a subscription service, so it does cost as little as $1.99 per month. Totally optional. We're not going to pay well anything for you guys, but... It's just there if you want more out of us, as this is all voluntary. We don't get paid full-time. We'd like to get paid full-time, but we're not full-time with this. It is completely voluntary on our part, so anything helps us out a lot. So feel free if you're interested. Check it out. Link is down there on the orange banner, patreon.com forward slash Michigan Storm Chasers. And from there, you can have the option to sign up. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the forecast for August 2nd, 2024. So we do have a slight risk here in effect for Southeast Michigan for excessive rainfall. Please note, this is not the severe weather outlook. Okay, this is only communicating the rainfall risk today. Similar to the SPC though, we have the marginal, the slight. They do skip the enhanced and go right to moderate and high with this uh, type of forecast. So we just have the slight risk there in effect. Places like Monroe, Detroit, Ann Arbor, Adrian, Hillsdale, and Jackson within the highest concern for some flooding today. Further north toward Port Huron, Flint, over toward Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, perhaps Grand Rapids as well. I think it's gonna stay south of you guys though up there in GR. We do have a marginal risk, so a lower end risk of some excessive rainfall slash flooding potential. Why, you might ask? Well, let's go ahead and correlate that. SPC severe weather outlook has no risk today in Michigan. The marginal risk is well off to our south in central Ohio. But we do have the general thunderstorm category all the way up to about Mount Pleasant to Grand Rapids over to the Tri-Cities into the thumb. Light green color there. That's going to indicate we have a chance in that area for some general thunderstorms. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the model. We do have the HRRR model showing up here from this morning. The reason for the excessive rainfall outlook today is because we have very little flow in the mid to, upper levels, mid to upper levels of the atmosphere here. So it's going to cause very slow storm movement, similar to what happened last night. We had some flooding happen in Macomb as well as Monroe counties. That's gonna be a repeat today. We could have some flooding ongoing here at, with these storms as they form up with the heat of the day. It's a hot, humid air mass. We're gonna have the slow moving storms. They're gonna sit over the same areas, dumping a lot of rain, hence your flooding potential. The highest potential, according to the models, is right along the 96 and 94 corridors from roughly Lansing, excuse me, down to Coldwater, over to the Detroit area. These storms are going to form right around the noon time frame, or roughly around noon, and they're going to continue to form and develop, and they're going to move over the exact same areas repeatedly throughout the day. But as we get into sunset and after sunset especially, they should lose intensity with the heating of the day. We're going to lose the heat of the day, should I say. So they should diminish after the sunset closer to 10 or 11 o'clock. And that should be dry overnight. Speaking of overnight, we do have the Aurora potential tonight. We have a G2 watch in effect. What that means basically is a level of geomagnetic storm that kind of correlates to how far south you can see the Aurora. So a KP4 is not a storm level, but KP4 levels can be seen in the UP. G1 is the lowest type of storm level with the Aurora. That can be seen in northern lower Michigan as well as the UP. And tonight we have the G2 watch in effect. It's equivalent to a KP6 level storm. And you can see the Aurora in the red zone there all the way down south to the Ohio and Indiana borders and also in the yellow and green zones. So entire state potential here for the Aurora this evening. Of course, a lot can happen. Aurora is fickle. We'll update on our Facebook page as it looks favorable or unfavorable. Expect updates from us, okay? We'll have updates as we get toward that sunset time frame. But right now, focus remains on that storm potential. Today, we do have that um, 
risk here for some flooding. Severe risk is quite low. I do think some gustier winds is definitely a possibility. However, I don't think we're going to have anything too severe or anything severe in general today at all. So overall, a busy day here. We'll be tracking it. If anything does happen to go strong or severe, we'll go live. No worries with that. But overall, expect a chance of showers and storms with some flooding potential there in South Central Michigan. Otherwise, aurora potential tonight. One thing I do want to mention before I hop off is the cloud cover. I forgot to bring this up. Cloud cover is going to be good for the UP as well as northwestern lower. This is your cloud cover map here showing black as clear skies, white as clouds. Here's your zoomed out look. Michigan over here covered in clouds this morning. UP is clear. Northern lower is clear. As we get into tonight, though, notice how these clouds start clearing out from northwest to southeast. So the further north and west you go in the state, the better your chances become with clear skies. Southeast Michigan especially is going to battle some clouds. According to this model, probably through the overnight hours, this is at 2 in the morning here. Notice how the entire west half and northern half of the state is clear. Southeastern still battling clouds there, but that's going to move out toward that sunrise time frame. So Southeast Michigan may not have a good shot, but if we can get those clouds to clear out quicker, maybe there's a chance. But outside of that, it's going to be a good night. Humidity drops tomorrow. It's going to be a good forecast into the weekend. All right. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Before I do hop off, though, quick shout out to our new sponsor, Cats Roofing. They cover the greater Lansing as well as Battle Creek areas. They do offer areas around those. So if you're in South Central Michigan, there's a good chance to are in your coverage area. So feel free if you need roofing, siding, gutters, windows, feel free to call Cats Roofing and Siding. Numbers on your screen. It is 517-485-9886. Link to our Patreon as well as Cats Roofing is going to be in the description below. So feel free to go check out the websites there. All right. With that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow here at Michigan Storm Chasers for another update video for how the weekend is going to look. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. All right. Stay safe, guys.